Hello, all set? Yeah, give us a hand with the luggage, right. will you? Earth, you get here all right? Yes, yeah, she's just finished breakfast. Good morning, Mrs. Fussy. Mm. Hello. Hello. Oh, blimey, we're not emigrating, you know. Well, it's only clothes. Oh, you won't need clothes where we're going. What do you mean we won't need clothes? It means you won't need a lot of clothes. You know, just a pair of shorts, swimsuit. Oh, no. I'm not having a go without plenty of woolies. Not with her funny kidneys. Oh, do stop that, Mum. There's nothing wrong with my kidneys. You know perfectly well a chill goes straight to them, just like your father. Always on the trot he was. Oh, give over, for heaven's sake. They can run around half naked if they want. But you're keeping woolies next to your essentials and that's final. All right, all right, Mrs Fussy. We'll get it all on somehow. I'm sorry if I brought too much, Bernie, but I have to keep covered up in the sun. That's right. Anthea's got a funny skin. Get away. How do you do? Hello, Mr. Fiddler. What's this, then? Court coals, have you? No, no, no. Just giving our feet some air, that's all. You've uh, settled in all right, then, have you? Yes, very nicely. Thank you. Look, you didn't say nothing about putting up a clothesline. Oh, uh, don't you allow them, then? It's just that it takes up so much space. That's why we have to make a small charge. Small charge? Ah, oh, now, look, just a nominal one, mind. A pound? Oh, no, you can put four up for a pound. Get away. <laughs> you mean to tell me that you will let us put up one clothesline occupying at least ten feet of empty air for only five shillings? Ah, oh, no, one, seven and six. Four for a pound. You skimpling, you scavenger! I hear you going on your holiday tomorrow, then. Yeah, yeah, just a weekend, that's all. All right, for some. You taking the missus, too? No, she won't go abroad. Doesn't like flying, do you, love? All the same if I did. Someone has to look after the pub. No, no, it's one of the new package deals. Seventeen quid all in. Thank you. Where, where are you going to? Oh, some new resort in the Med. Oh, for heaven's sake, Vic, why don't you tell him? It's a place called Ells Bells. <laughs> hey, Ells Bells? The island? Yes. It's tomorrow? Yes. Blimey, there's a coincidence for you. <laughs> what is? Sadie's going there on the same trip. <laughs> Get away. That's right, isn't it, Sadie? You're going to Wells Bells tomorrow. Me? <laughs> oh, yes. I thought of going. Why? Well, old Vic's going on the same trip. Really? Well, fancy that. <laughs> Have a good trip. Sure. Get off. The drums have stopped. I know that. They stopped hours ago. Oh. Why don't you tell me something I don't know? The women of the Ubangi tribe, boss, stuff the bones of the buffalo up their nose. What are you talking about? You asked me to tell you something you don't know, boss. Oh, me, go and get the beaters. Go on, we're going, Auntie. Take it up. Mr. Brucey? Yes, miss. What the, is it? The drums have stopped. Get away. I wondered if it would be safe for me to go for a walk. I mean... Would anything happen? Darling, you could walk stalkers through a foreign legion outpost and nothing would happen. Oh, thank you. Boss, 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 I got the beetle, boss. Oh, God, blimey. It's like trying to have a bit on an ant's nest. All right, come on, let's get going. <laughs> 